Thank you for listening today on Revealing Wholeness, sponsored by Infinity Whole Health. Check out our website at infinitywholehealth.com, where we are revealing the eternal in each individual, the infinite in the individual. The creativity is made manifest. Limitation is let go. Now, here's your host, Dr. Troy Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. You know, I've been profoundly changed by many books in my life, and this this particular book that I'm going to quote may be a bit offensive for some people, but hang in there with me. Mark Manson wrote a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, and there's probably over a thousand F words in this particular book, but if you can muddle through it, there are some real gems, and I'm going to cover just one short spot of it, so I apologize for those of you that may be a bit squeamish about that word, but ultimately I'll take truth and some light wherever I can wherever I can gather it. And ultimately what he talks about is that when people are asked what they want out of life, most people say, I want money, great sex, a loving relationship, power, happiness. But ultimately that's average. I mean it's really average because that's what we all want. And if we boil that down, really everybody what they want is they want to feel good. I just want to feel good. I just want whatever feels good. Well Everybody wants that. But the whole point of like the title of this states is what are you willing to suffer for? If we, if we just fixate on happiness, as he says in the book, it, it's looking for something outside of us. It's like, hey, when I get that new house or that new relationship or that new job or that pay raise or that child, ultimately it, It's always putting the life situation as something out there that we're trying to get to and trying to avoid the other thing. Because like he says, the person that we marry is the one we end up fighting with. The job that we stress over was the dream job that we we dreamt about in the beginning. And you know, the house that we that we finally get after all that hard work is the house now that we repair and work on constantly. And so everything once we get it. It seems like, well, now there's just these inherent problems and sufferings with this positive stuff that we got. And that was, that's enlightening as much as as it is anything. But when we, when we stop that, we now have to ask the more difficult question. What are we really willing to suffer for? Because despite how much sweat and strain we put at these things, it seems like we're really just like we were when we began. And we feel quite inadequate. And so this better question in our life is, what are we willing to struggle for? Because I'll ask my kids, do you want that really expensive car? What are you willing to do for it? What? How much are you willing to work? So we ask these questions and people ultimately, I shouldn't say people because that lumps us all together, but some of you that are listening to this probably are like, you know what? I'm not willing to settle anymore like most people. Because many of us out there have settled in many areas of our life. And has, let's just take our, our spouse, for example. We settle and we start asking the question after years and years of settling and being irritated, what if? And then Mark talks about, you know, after years and years later, the question becomes, well, what else? And we look for somebody else. And then he says, when all the, all the lawyers have left and the alimony checks are in, that now the question is, what for? And the realization becomes that had we not lowered our standards 20 years ago and our expectations 20 years ago and started to decide instead to go through some pain and suffering and have the difficult conversations, have the, the, oh, inadequacies felt, the uncomfortable silences, the cold shoulders. I mean, even the embarrassing tendencies that we all have, had we suffered a little bit, we would have possibly come through into greatness. Are you willing to work the 60 hours a week to get out of the cubicle nightmare? Are you willing to shut the television off and talk to your kids to have a great relationship? Are you willing to do some sweat equity now for some amazing life experience later? And instead, we would rather just avoid. And ultimately, that's not the answer. Avoidance isn't the answer. Avoiding negative situations 
it, it, it doesn't get us where we want to be. And ultimately the answer is really rather simple. It's, it, it's deeply accepting this present moment and the struggle and realizing that the struggle actually helps me realize the happiness that I have. And this struggle, when we accept this moment, we now let go of a lot of the old hurts, wounds, the suffering, the, the offenses, the grievances of the past, and the shoulda, coulda, wouldas all fall away with it. And in full acceptance, not trying to project ourselves in the future of the hope, but rather staying right here and letting the magnificent work that we're doing deeply hit us, we now remain in this present moment where magic, where really creation happens. It's not magic. It's what we are. And here in this moment is where God shows up, where spirit is, where Christ is, because it's not, it's not in the past. God isn't in the past or the future. He's always right here. He's always in this present moment. And as we learn that more and more profoundly, we seek to stay right here with him where that wonderful, beautiful, creative potential rests and lies forever and ever. Because when anything happens, when will it happen? It will always be right now. It won't be then. It'll be now. When it gets here, it's still going to be now. Accepting that moment and not avoiding things becomes greatly empowering to all of us. So I encourage you now, don't settle anymore. If you're young enough, don't ever settle. Always ask that amazing question, what am I willing to suffer for? Until next time, I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach Dr. Munson at 360-893-8586 or email him at chiroman at dr.com. That's C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N at dr.com. Check out our current workshop schedule on Facebook at Infinity Whole Health.